Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Bodega Josie, and back at it again with another episode of the Watch List, the show where we go over all the upcoming sneakers for the following week. And yo, if you're new to the channel, I must say I do sneaker related content, so if that's your thing. Please consider dropping a like on this video and subscribing for more videos. But for the formalities out of the way, let's get straight into the list. So it's happening tomorrow, the 15th of December, you have the Nike LeBron 8 in the Lakers colorway. And yo, I really like the Lakers colors on the LeBron 8. It's subtle, but it's popped so much. Though I'm not the biggest collector of LeBrons, I'm be skipping on these, but if you're a big LeBron fan and collector of shoes, these seem like a great pickup. Also on the 15th, we have the re-release, well, restock of the Stussy and Nike Air Force 1 in the black colorway. And yo, real quick, fuck that website. Fuck that shit, man. I'm mad out. I'm pissed. Like, words cannot describe how pissed I was that I was there. 1 p.m. EST on the website. Refreshed. Everything loaded up, add to cart, check out, solve capture to proceed. I'm like, okay, okay, yeah, they're trying, they're, they're, they're doing capture. I like, I like that. Get rid of the bots. But to my amaze, the capture didn't even pop up for me. I refreshed, refreshed, refreshed until four minutes later, no, five, five or six, the capture finally shows up and I'm in line waiting. Only for three minutes later, Sold out. Fuck that website. That fossil pair should have been mine. I wanted it so badly. But it was nothing. It was not meant to be. There'll be a question one day. But I didn't even want the black pair. I, I I just mainly want the fossil pair. So if you really want the black pair, you get a second chance now. Then on the 17th of December, we had the re-release of the Nike Air Max 95 in the neon colorway. And yo, it's so nice to see like OG colorways of the Air Maxes come back. But I sadly am going to have to skip on this pair because some unforeseen expenses came up. So I, I can't get them. But if anything, hopefully they're going to be like the Air, uh, infrared Air Max 90s where they've just been restocking, restocking, restocking. And everyone who wants a pair can get one. We also have the tour yellow pair of the Nike Sakai paper vapor waffles dropping on the 17th as well. And the more I look at these, the more I feel like these are going to be on the list for my top 10 sneakers of 2020. Even though I don't have them, even though I'll, on the list, I'll like, I'm not going to have a lot of the shoes on the list. <laughs> these are slowly becoming like, I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know where exactly I'm going to put, but it's definitely top 10 sneakers. Like, they're not an honorable mention. They're top 10 sneakers of 2020. Cause they look so dope. And the tour yellow, something about the tour yellow and the stadium green mixture, it just does it for me. I like it a lot. And oof, I'm about to get some hate for this one. Cause on the 17th, we have to read the Kid Cudi and Adidas collab and the, uh, I, I, what's the name again? again? The Kid Cudi Bander Ram 326. And, eh. Trust me, I know Kid Cudi is meant for like the experimental art for the weird and experimental music, but these are like something out of an 80s video game movie adaptation. I'm not feeling them. And no, honestly, I feel like these are only going to be meant for like the diehard Kid Cudi fans. Like if you're a diehard Kid Cudi fan, you're going to, you're going to scoot these up no matter what. But I don't feel like jumping the cash to look like something out of a video game, but they're dope not the way. And plus I like the detail that he added because they're inspired from his daughter. So that's cool. On the 19th, you have the Sean Claver and Nike SB Dunk Low collab. And this is a Christmas shoe I like a lot. What I mean by this is, is look at this. So, a lot of Christmas shoes, Christmas themed shoes come out. And you know they're about Christmas. You have snowflakes, Christmas colors, everything there. But these, these, you know, you know they're Christmas inspired, but they don't look Christmas inspired, if you catch my drift. These are something I can wear like maybe mid July or like early April and those gonna be like yo why is he wearing Christmas sneakers in spring or summer that's what I like about these that yes they're they're inspired by Christmas but you can wear them whenever it's not gonna be overly blatant like me wearing those Christmas Air Force Ones in July or August being like why there's no reason and running things off we have two more kicks coming on the 21st First, we got the Sakai and Vapor Waffle in the Ben and Red colorway. And I don't know why they split the release date like that, because they were supposed to drop on the same exact date. But they split it last minute, for whatever reason. But, eh, that just means I'm going to get another L on a different date. And to be honest, I'm not really the biggest fan of the Ben and Red colorway. It is dope. I like, like I said, I mainly like the model, but the Tor Yellow pair is the one I really want to go for. 
And lastly, you have the Matthew M. Williams Nike, what's it called again? Nike Zoom MMW4. And yo, these look like something weird, like something out of a weird Shinobi Naruto movie. Like, I feel like in Naruto, they didn't wear, wear those weird open toe shoes, boot things. I don't know what the fuck they were called. They would wear, these would be the hype Shinobi sneakers they would wear to the Great Ninja War. Alright, alright. Weep shit out of the way. These are super dope. I like them. They're weird. Like, I like the weird shit, even though I just said, like, I'm not biggest fan of the Kit Cutty sneaker. But, these are sleek. But for the price point of 450 Nah, I'm missing for that shit. Like, if they were, like, 200 then maybe I could justify the price point. But 450 Ah, uh, hell no. But yo, that's the list for the week, guys. In the comment section down below, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on any sneakers coming out. And if there's any ones I missed. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to drop a like on the video. And to subscribe for more content. Share this video with your friends and family. Links to my Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch will all be in the description. Peace, love, positivity. And until next time, I'm Bodega, and I'm out. Peace.